Jazzy pods are propellers and basically they move us. I could go into a long in-depth discussion on the technical side of things, but let's just keep it simple. When we're talking about azipods, we're not talking about traditional propellers. These are propellers that will actually pull us through the water rather than push us through the water. We can get up to 22 knots or just over 25 miles per hour through the water. If we needed to stop fast, we'd perform a crash stop, which means you go from full sea speed to full stop. In our case, it would take four minutes, 35 seconds, and 1,386 meters, or just about a quarter of a mile for us to go from maximum speed of 22 knots down to zero. And when we're maneuvering from the bridge, whether it be in the center console, or right now I'm out on the starboard side, when we're using the controls, the general idea is wherever we put the propeller blade is where the stern will go. So this is my starboard azipod control. If I turn it what we call inboard 90, so now it's pointing towards the center of the stern, the stern will actually walk to port in the direction of where the blades are pointed because they pull us through the water. They're extremely efficient. Each pod rotates 360 degrees, and the pods have five propeller blades. The blades are the size of a smart car, and the diameter of the full propeller is the size of a Hummer, but it's much more efficient, even though each pod weighs the equivalent of 70 adult female elephants. Great for maneuvering. They're the reason that we don't have to have stern thrusters because there's a lot of power back there. It would take 1,200 Tesla Model S to equal the torque or moment of force of just one of our Azipods. And if each Tesla is 500 horsepower, you'd need a fleet of 42 Teslas to equal the 21,000 horsepower driving each propeller. We do still have bow thrusters, and this is the control here. Thrusters are propellers located in tunnels in the forward section of the ship. They are used to move the ship's bow from side to side. For the four bow thrusters, about 19,000 horsepower here on the Celebrity Edge, and this is the lever that moves them, just like that. All the bridge officers get the opportunity to maneuver with the pods, and the method I teach is to use one hand and one hand only. The reason I do that is because of the hand-eye coordination, which First Officer Ava demonstrates like a pro. This way it encourages you to anticipate the next move that you're going to have to make with the pods. And we all have different ways to help us think about what the pods are doing when we move them. I explain the azipods using my hand, with my fingertips being the bow or the front of the ship, and my wrist is the stern where the azipods are. The finger applying the pressure is the azipod. The direction the pressure is applied is the direction the blades will be pointing, and if you think of the ship as a lever, when the azipods point in one direction, the bow will go in the opposite direction because of the pivot point. But some of my officers prefer what we have nicknamed the electric slide, where they simulate the shift in body weight to represent the action of the pods. And to that I say, to each their own. We all know that machinery requires maintenance and inspections, which the engineers do on a monthly basis by physically entering the azipod. I find it interesting and they're nice enough to let me tag along. I'll just add that it's extremely helpful if you're only five foot four and you're not claustrophobic. And maybe you've been doing yoga, let's say your entire life, or you conquer Stairmasters in your spare time, or all of the above. What I'm trying to say is it's a tight squeeze. It's hot and I give big props, pun intended, to the engineers because it's not just one side of electrical components that needs to be checked, it's both the forward and aft section. And you might be wondering how all of this is powered. We have five main diesel engines on board the Celebrity Edge which produce electricity to the entire ship. But the major consumer is the energy required to drive the Azipod. We all know that engineers have a special way about explaining technical things. So in case I miss something about our azipods, maybe my chief engineer husband can fill in the blanks. This is his explanation of azipods and thrusters from the most recent ship that he's proudly built. So the azipods are uh, huge electrical motors and they have a massive propeller attached to them. When you stand there next to the azipod, it looks like a huge building, actually, it looks like a huge torpedo. And those uh, amazing, uh, shiny, polished propellers, they are just, uh, you can just imagine how beautiful they are pulling the ship to the water. 
the stern we have azipods, on the bow we have our bow thrusters. They are helping uh, to move the ship uh, sideways. So if you can imagine the big tunnel and the propeller in the middle that is uh, pushing the water through the tunnel and at the same time in opposite direction pulling or pushing the ship. So there you go, you heard it from the expert. These things are huge and powerful and huge. Apparently size does matter. I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching How I See It. Stay tuned here for more. Okay, here we go. Remember the plate bug? <laughs> We're trying to do this. <laughs> I thought you were going to go first, so I'm like, you're going to do your thing, you're going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to try. Okay. Bug. Chill. Okay. <laughs> Bug. Bug, come, come on you. Okay. Take three. <laughs> or four. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Oh man, that was a good one too, Bug. And an alarm. <laughs> Bug, stop now. Come on. C come here. Or go there. Come here. Okay. Oh my gosh, man.